Sivas Parkham. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune again. Every Friday, Max and I, Karsten, are here for you to present to you one of the most brain rattling board games of this era. Uh, it seems that this game makes me bold, but no, it's a headset, it's a dressing, and the hair is, hair is growing again. Um, it wasn't last weekend, but the weekend before we visited the Netherlands. We were at Utrecht, the Spell and Spectacle. We met a lot of amazing guys and played a lot of games, uh, sold some copies. And uh, if you want to support us, then, well, go to the description, find our homepage. You can... You can order directly from us a copy we will send to you. You can print it out on a 3D printer. You can visit us on a Discord. You can, uh, whatever, you, you can watch this channel, subscribe, uh, give us a like, uh, share it and, and ring the bell. It's up to you. You can do a lot of things, right? Um, okay, but without further ado, let's jump into the game. Uh, the game is, uh, the name is Audacity, right? It is, yes, because, you know, at the end you were quite bold, even more bold Me. than you were before. Me! Yeah. Me! Ah! I don't know, let's just show this. So, um, <coughs> would you mind to load the game in? The music by... The, way, this is the tabletop simulator? Yeah. So, uh, if you're curious, uh, if you have the TTS uh, already, you know, you, you, this is for free, as all other things. But uh, if you don't, you know, it's quite cheap. Yeah, uh, and, and, and this music is included. It's by Darren indeed. Curtis. And uh, this is a peaceful music. But it will turn into a battle. Yeah, let's load it. Well, now it's a different chime. Indeed, yes. So, let's begin the game <coughs> with a very simple and calm step forward. Yeah, grabbing some space in the center. And this is very common. Uh, you don't want the opponent to symmetrically combine, which if you don't know all the rules yet, uh, you can combine uh, pieces on an adjacent empty hexagon, like this for example, or like it did there. But if they stand symmetrically, like in this formation, then you can pull them out all to the center of them. And in this case, I'm kind of preventing this, because now I would just take two things, and that would be really bad. So um, this is my kind of idea, and if you take one thing down, well then I will just retake you. And ruin and the symmetrical structure. Yeah, and uh, it's just a trade, so no one loses here. So, that was the idea. <laughs> yeah, in other games of the genre, you do similar things. You try to improve your position, and in this case, I mean, you have an army. And we so often found out that everything applies here as well. You, you try to have... A solid structure so you are protected but then you try to poke here and there to yeah to make holes into the defense line of the uh, opponent and eventually you s may succeed yeah, and block. Um, yeah. you know this is kind of atypical for me because uh, as you said you, you <clears throat> have kind of the defense and the offense and I usually have no defense and a lot of offense <laughs> and <laughs> So, thing is, this is like really uncharacteristic for me, because mm -hmm. I'm just not the kind of defense player, but... And this, uh, I thought this would be a nice idea, so... You're now leveraging a little bit of power here, uh, forcing me to go away, which I, I probably did. Um, and yeah, like for this. winning! Surviving makes absolutely sense. Eh? You can't yeah. win if you're dead. Well, if you're a zombie, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And you 
doing the exact same thing, attacking this very crucial archer in my defense line. Uh, these two spearmen actually do a good job, but they would be bound and pinned down to this job only. And now this is blocked and they are free to march into your direction, friendo. Yeah, I don't think they will. Um, besides, uh, the interesting thing is you have two defenders and I have just one. If you look at this. And we both have, uh, have the uh, same situation that this is attacked. But it's fine in both cases. If you were to take, like if, if the white egg was here, would take here, that's nothing to fear. Because uh, you can take two back. And then let's say in this situation, uh, you take and I take. And you see that even though I had only one yeah. defender, it was a trade. Completely. So that's kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, even, uh, or especially for beginners. But by the way, my men will march down. But first, they will take care of their shoelaces. Otherwise, they yeah. might stumble. And that's not good on the battlefield. Yeah, I, that's true. And uh, I kind of give you this for free. Uh, but you overlook this for. Uh, which is kind of funny. I don't um, need it. Okay. Yeah, you're now threatening me <clears throat> here, and so I probably went away like that. Yeah, but. And yeah. <laughs> now, now. You, now you protect it. So this opportunity is gone. Yeah, and if you take, well, because I became smaller, you would have to go here, and this was defended. And th this mechanics is so ingenious. I mean, it is. In, in chess, you don't bother uh, if you are big or small or whatever. You have a piece there or you don't. But in this case, it absolutely matters if it is big or small. Yeah, you can make it being protected by reducing the height. Instantly, the one would be forced to take the position and then you can strike back. It, it's... yeah. And it feels like leading this army. Maybe not to victory, but somewhere. Indeed, yes. <laughs> And, and so you kind of became more aggressive by the minute, uh, which currently this isn't really a threat. I'm just going to show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is really well defended, and this too is like it's just defended with five, but you can only take three, mm. so that wouldn't be worth it. But oops. I mm. do not really know what my plan was. Yeah, me neither. So I just kind of was like, yeah, I'm going to threaten you here. Yeah. Which it's protected currently, but maybe in the future not. So. Yeah. This is completely reasonable. Split up and with this momentum, slowly but surely moving the entire army forward always placing this anchor point and, and you try you really try man but yeah this is completely solid this is loose well yeah, I, it's the main idea just <clears throat> taking okay. here and being like yeah you, you kind of gotta move pal and, and if you move like here that looks really stupid this so is you stupid so I mean, you would probably combine or something, I don't know. In the first days playing this game, well, we encountered, we, we engaged like this and found out the hard way that it's not worth it. Yeah, it's just, it wouldn't really give you anything but <clears throat> a ballista which is stuck on the edge of the board. But this situation could only occur on the board when you have two consecutive moves. Now, get back Indeed, to the game, yeah. and now it's my turn. I have to deal with this threat. And I do. Marching the ballista, it's uh, this bolt gun, a uh, little ahead, now grabbing completely different files, but yeah, without moving, just with 
the combination process. Honestly, I really like this. I really hope I played that. It's attacking, defending. And this one is more than enough, uh, has more than enough defense. So I really like this. I I could. Let's see what I did. And you did it. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not impressed with my own move there. It's The intention is clear. Mm. Uh, you, you want this. But, nah. Just no. <laughs> and this is... I do not know. Maybe... Well, it's... Let's... I was considering something like that, maybe. Well, being solid again, but well, yeah. Well, actually, I don't think this move is too bad because you kind of want yeah, to take it. Is, it is a threat, yeah. Well, so at least you have some I intentions and <clears throat> ideas. Um, people, people might think, well, why can you take now? I cannot. Um, yeah, when I'll step a move back. This is be, because it is before. protected, right? But how about taking here? You can take four pieces, right? But hey, this spearman takes it all. And so you, yeah. you, you're virtually not protected at all. And you found a really nice move by combining ahead now you have two attackers and you have one more defender so this tactics is out of the question and now i really have to deal with me being threatened and, and bullied around yeah but if you think <clears throat> back when i was when i said i hope i did this combination i could have had an equis on this hexagon much earlier so I kind of think that my game play was just a waste of time. Now I could have taken here because this archer wasn't there. But I That's didn't. true. Yeah, I could have taken. It wouldn't be an equal trade, but at least no, no, it wouldn't be a le equal trade. I would take three. You would take two, and I yeah. could r afterwards run. Yeah, you would run away probably like this. Maybe like this or like that and and restructure my offense line. And in the meantime, I took one of your very crucial attackers away. So you really have to restructure. But I didn't see it back then. Yeah, and I did this, Tappens. which is a, a defense of both of these things, because I thought, well, I should probably do something about that. Um, and and it also covers this, so it's a very defensive move. But yeah. don't forget, it can also stare toward your direction. And so it can go here. Yeah. Not now. And, but it's interesting. Yeah. Currently, you really wouldn't want to do this because it would just leave. It would lose a lot of material. Uh, you you don't get anything if you go there. But maybe in the future. Okay, that's really passive. Uh, unfortunately, it is. But, you know, I really don't want to take this. So, <laughs> mission achieved. Goal accomplished. Yeah, it's a crystal structure. Very hard to crack. Yeah, I mean, you you defend this with nine points. Like, there's no getting... Th well, currently even with... Uh, 15, but there's no way I'm going to get through this, so... <laughs> Anyhow, so I kind of prepared and discovered attack, which, uh, for example, if I had one more move, I could, uh, for example, do something like this uh, to jump in here. And I'm also simultaneously threatening to take a lot of pieces, so you cannot take me here. Which is a uh, kind of interesting thing. The Sagittarius is brutal. If you manage to use this guy wisely, 
he's so worth it on the battlefield, man. Yeah. Of course, he can he can swap from being completely passive or uh, defensive into complete combat action beast mode in an instant. It and so, so you now did this, uh, which sets up a nasty idea. But what I saw at the time is uh, attack here, attack here. Yeah. Then I evaluated the attacks. The second one isn't that bad because this one is not defended. I can take three, you can take back. And then what? It's No, not Yeah, <laughs> yeah like that. And it's an exchange. It's, it's okay. Yeah. And um, I did something really bad. I did this. Yeah, so you did not care about this. But. And um, I got hit with this, which is now very funny. Because you're attacking me and you're attacking this twice. Yeah. With this so. fork, I provided a second attacker on this, and now I can take it entirely in one attack. That was. Really? Yeah, and, I, and I, I felt love... like, whoa, what a tactic, man. Yeah, and I allowed this because I kind of blocked me. Exactly. I blocked myself, which is really unfortunate. But, you know, you, you kind of have to accept this. No, uh, just... Trade off the pieces. By the way, uh, sorry for this kind of stupid shenanigans. But that's uh, the tabletop simulator being, well, the simulator. Uh, so when you see flickering and stuff, uh, that's when we repair the board. Anyhow, so trade is completed and I've lost three pieces, which is unfortunate. What I have though is I have a lot of attackers. Yeah. These four. And um, you don't have anything to attack me with. Like, this is your biggest unit. Yeah, I traded and, everything. Uh, and I have and eight, eight of these clubmen. <laughs> like in the beginning, and you just have four. So you attack me and I run away uh, into an, a very offensive position. And this... I mean, it's not looking that disastrous, but what can you do? I mean, I, I cannot go away because I would die right now. And I, I really would like to open that up by something like that so that this one, you know, that one can aim through. But when I do... Uh, no, yeah, it's it a just very... does not feel right. Yeah, you're caught between a rock and hard place. And so you kind of try to get a counterattack going. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this case, I was thinking, well, I can <clears throat> immediately take here. Yeah. But if I did that, you would take here and be it would become scary. So I think this is a very interesting idea to think about. Just take this first. And then take here. But this you are now in. is not able to attack you anymore. Right? Yeah, completely shut down. It wasn't the wisest decision to take the Savos here to re attack. Yeah. Should have taken the Equus. Now it's going from bad to worse. And already you're not down three pieces, you're down one piece because you took this status here. Yeah. And uh, I'm not protecting this because it's defended by three and if you took I would take back and yeah. I would win. Yeah. So um, now I'm just again doing what I do best and I'm being belligerent and try to <laughs> attack you. Yeah. <coughs> And I can tell you guys out there, when you have the clock that's ticking down and you have this sound and you feel the enemy is coming, that makes something with you. Yeah. Really, I'm not finding sleep anymore. 
<laughs> it's not that bad, but it's really... By the way, I was really unhappy here. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, I, I really can't do anything about your symmetry. Uh, and so what I thought was, like, you want to attack me, so obviously I want to get rid of this. And so I thought of this move, I'm just kind of forcing you to trade with me. Like, you can do other things, but you... I'm really restricting your movement here. So uh, if you move away, then this Tribune can only go here, and that's really uncomfortable. So, um... Uh, because, like, say I would do this. You then have to jump here, at which point I can hit you with this. And then you've got to run out of or, your position. Or you can do something like that. Yeah. And this is different than com combining the first oh, yeah. thought would be this. But now you can just take two and that would make it completely vulnerable. But yeah, that's funny. Actually. If you go here, it's actually better because if you step ahead, now I am not forced to take two pieces. I'm just taking one piece. And now what? You're not attacking me. Now this dude is hanging, and you have to do something. Mm. But you do you not have probably, four attackers. Yeah, you would probably in a game do something like this. Yeah, no. If you run away, maybe there is like a a move here. Uh, because I, I'm just thinking of really nasty things like go here. Yeah, I wouldn't and... go to this edge of the board. I, oh. I mean, you really wouldn't? okay. But but for me, yeah. the, the insight was well, you lose a piece, but you survive, and you cause problems to the opponent who actually has a clock on his own here, right? And his time, hopefully, is ticking as well. Yeah, and so uh, I yeah. kind of forced you to take, y you took, I took, and you combined. But it's the same... Hmm? The same... Mm. Mm. Okay, you did not combine, in fact. Which yeah. then gave me the opportunity to attack you. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing or interesting? <coughs> Don't confuse the two. Anyhow, so uh, I'm just kind of playing, uh, you know, catch. I'm just trying to attack you with every move I make so that you cannot create symmetries uh, or use symmetries to create bigger things. Yeah, and using this momentum against me by by creating a couple of warriors that can join this party that just no yeah. oh dude this was uh, a trap now without a doubt there's mo one move that's good and everything else is bad so if you look at the moves that don't instantly lose you the game you have this 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 and this you can make sure on your own that every move the tribune can make otherwise will kill him immediately yeah okay out of 12 possible positions four remain yeah and then, and out of these four one is good and everything else is uh losing don't forget, Which... your opponent has a bright mind. Indeed, He's yes. Completely thinking clearly. So, for example, you go yeah. here. Well, I'm just very funnily going to walk there, and now what? <laughs> now I'm dead. Yeah, you can't go there, 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 which because of this. And if you take this, you only take three and remain in position. So I will take you, which is really unfortunate. Um. This is also a possibility, uh, at which point uh, this would probably happen, which is 
uh, Centuri, uh, Ballista uh, Secretary's opposition. You have uh, this kind of ant an attack, which is devastating. Yeah. Uh, you have no now, moves. Yeah, now this is your only move. Yeah. You go here, and uh, there is probably something along the lines of this, maybe. Yeah. Which this this cuts you off, uh, and this attacks you, and wherever you go, you you die. So. Yeah, but for beginners, it's hard to find the pattern. So it's Indeed, I, yeah. I I think it's interesting to see what possibilities are on this board and what are not so okay let's so see now you have this or this uh, so you can flick a coin and or you go uh, and do the logical calculation i can either walk back to my unit or i can walk into a death trap and if you like ponder a little bit you probably come to the conclusion that you should go there. Or you have balls. Yeah, but maybe you are, uh, you know, you but are not a little for long. Bit more arrogant <laughs> uh, and, and kind of edgy. I don't know. <laughs> oh man! And <laughs> you really want to find out whether your opponent is stupid, which. You know, if if I would lose this position, that would really tell more about me as a player than you. Um, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. So now, how do you uh, play this game out? Well, uh, the Tribune cannot go here, here, here. He here, cannot move. Here. It can just go here. And, yeah. So you very simply cut this option off so by moving here. Yeah. And and now you're in big trouble. Yeah. Uh, the game, I think, proceeded with this, which is clever. It's the only move that gives you a getaway hexagon. This, uh, this is blocking my path. And if I was to uh, take here, well, then you run away like this. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's like a clever move. You can kind of go like this behind your units yeah. something along those lines was the idea but so I, I could do what I should have done before <laughs> exactly but mm. now uh, there are a couple of moves how you can win uh, for example the first one I'm going to show you is uh, this one kind of funny move uh, this hexagon that was just opened up is now covered uh, and I'm also attacking you. Yeah, double attack. That's You're very through. important. Not just this ballista. It's, I yeah. could have also oh. done this here, which is also funny. Yeah. Uh, because you can now take, you can you take, but take either. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, oh, this is not it. how the game ended. The game ended like this, which. You know, a lot of beginners make the mistake to underestimate decombination. Mm. But never underestimate decombination. <laughs> because um, you can do so much in one move. Like, I created three separate things. Which, um, this one protects and this one attacks two spots which are important. Like, you can do this with any other move other than, well, combination. Mm. Yeah, that's that's really, and that's the mind-bending part about Tribune. Finding all these possibilities, positioning your soldiers on the battlefield, let them interact, let them work together, because only as an army they will do the job. Well, and Indeed. they did. They did. Uh, let's get back to the goodbye screen. I would say it's honestly your part. Yeah, so we hope that you enjoyed the game or the game, like in the, in the sense of the game Tribune, <laughs> which 
It's a play of words I like to do time and time again. No, really? Uh, if... hmm? <laughs> no, really? <laughs> if you liked um, anything you saw here, uh, consider liking and or subscribing the uh, channel and the video. And, um, you know, everything is down in the description. We have a website that desperately needs a little bit of <laughs> refurbishment. Know, yeah, uh, I I really should come around to do this. Uh, uh, by the way, <laughs> the links uh, when you get to our homepage tribune.org, uh, you go to the download section. You find the pieces for a three D printer, but actually, it is a little bit messed up. Uh, but the files are actually okay. You do just have to change the ending of the file extension. Now, at the moment, it's .stl.html, and you just have to eradicate the HTML part, so it's an STL file you can put into your slicer. But just that. Yeah, uh, I have to, uh, you know, repair this, uh, which will it. be done, yeah. hopefully, uh, to Monday. I I'm actually going to write this down. Do uh, anyhow. <laughs> So, um, besides, uh, we hope that you have a wonderful day and a great time. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully we'll meet again. And until then, I would say, see you soon. On Tribune.